ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds? I don't need to tell station owners, managers, and program directors that the American people are more upset and more politically awake than they've ever been. That's why Donald Trump, even if you love him or hate him, is so popular, because he's not reading off a teleprompter, he's not mincing words. And that's the reason that InfoWars, and my syndicated radio broadcast, over the last 20 years has exponentially grown. We now reach, not just in the United States, but across the world, 20 million people at least every single week. And in 2015 and 2016, I want to double that number to 40 million people promoting a message of basic liberty and freedom that made this republic, the United States of America, the model of a free and prosperous nation worldwide. I'm a libertarian broadcaster. I wear my bias to tell the truth and to promote free market entrepreneurial liberty on my sleeve. Let me share with you another key point. InfoWars has a giant grassroots audience in every town and city in this nation. And they will loyally tune in to your broadcast or to your cable channel and will tell their neighborhoods, their coworkers, their friends and families about the broadcast. And so will we. We intend to promote channels that we're on on a daily basis so we can push our giant internet AM and FM audience to your local TV station. In closing, let me tell you why I'm doing this. I already do four hours of radio a day. I already have internet online news. I already have websites that dominate not just alternative media, but mainstream media. Why would I want to then launch the next level and put this programming on satellite? It's because it's my responsibility. I must, like my forebearers did, like your forebearers did, reach out, trailblaze, expand, and defend this republic. I don't want to be, to quote Braveheart, many years from now, lying at home in my bed, wishing that I would have taken action against the unraveling of our freedoms. I'm making a stand. And I know that many station owners, managers, and program directors care about this country as well and want to shake up the dialogue and get people talking to create a grassroots movement of liberals and conservatives and libertarians to come together and celebrate America and what made us great again. That's why I'm really doing this, because it's my responsibility, but also because I got a file in there of over 100 cable channels that have contacted me the last few years saying, please put it on satellite, please close caption it, please package it so we can carry it. And just since we turned on the satellite a few weeks ago, we already have more than 10 affiliates that are carrying the show. Three cable systems and seven UHF VHF stations. One of them is on basic cable and is a decades old news and information channel in Houston and they're getting a great response. Yes, the feedback that I hear is of course it's refreshing for the simple reason it is totally different and again as I stated uh, they get they get a perspective from InfoWar that they do not get anywhere else and for that it's a very popular show on our network or very popular channel, I should say, because it's a 24-hour channel on our network. And it has a tremendous effect because people can't get this type of information from any of our other 250, 300 channels that we carry on our network. It should be on everybody's cable television network. Pick up InfoWars today. Whether you carry it on the weekend for two hours or whether you carry our entire lineup, we welcome you to visit InfoWars.com forward slash affiliates or to call the phone number on the site and one of our representatives from the InfoWars News Center in Austin, Texas will get back with you. InfoWars Live, the four hour radio slash TV show, is absolutely free to air and so is InfoWars Nightly News. You're even free to take excerpts of it for your own news programming. It's absolutely free to air. All we ask is that you not edit the pieces themselves. So you can take it in part or in whole, whatever you want. We just simply want to get the word out to the people and are very appreciative for you taking out the time. You only live once and this life is a test and this could be my final message. Probably isn't. One chance in a million it is. But we never know 
when we're going to die. We never know when we're going to be in a car wreck or when we're going to have a stroke or when we're going to break our neck uh, or when we're going to be killed by the globalist or when we're going to be struck by lightning. And that's why I work so hard, why I do so many uploads in the middle of the night, why I do all these talk radio interviews and sometimes get so burnt out that, you know, I don't, I don't even come off very well. But that isn't even what it's about. It's about standing up, being conscious and being involved. And earlier in the show, I, uh, you know, was asking people to support us, to spread the word about the transmission because we're growing by leaps and bounds because everything we've talked about, unfortunately, is manifesting because we had the globalist handbooks. But most importantly is your prayers. I don't believe in prayer. I depend on it. I don't believe it. I know it. I don't believe in God. I know God. There's a big difference. And that's why I don't have any fear. I don't look forward to what could happen to me or my family. But at the same time, there's no future if, if we don't turn this around. We're cornered, ladies and gentlemen. And I've used the analogy many times of the old movies where they're in the ship and it's turned over and they got to swim out because the water level's rising and they may not make it, but they don't have a choice. And most people are too scared to go swimming. There's true stories about this, to go swimming through the ship to get out so they stay and die because they can't get over their fear to go down and try to get out. Or it's the old thing of you're in the temple looking for treasure and the walls start closing in on you. You better find the lever to stop it or you're dead. So instead of just panicking and, and screaming and it crushing us, like the Star Wars trash compactor scene, we need to get out of this. And we get out of it by admitting we're in a trash compactor, admitting the tyranny's happening and saying no to it and not giving it moral authority and just criticizing it. That's why they want to shut down free speech. Just saying no to it brings it to a halt. We've got to put our bodies against the machinery. So please pray for us. We'll pray for you. And uh, realize this is epic, what's happening. And, it, it, you know, it's freaky to know that there's Infowars.com, DrudgeReport.com, Oath Keepers, uh, Ron Paul, uh, Rand Paul to a certain extent. He's trying to play ball a little bit, but doing a lot of great work at the same time. Um, I know he's a good man personally, so I, 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 you know, I overall trust him in what they're doing, trust but verify. But, I mean, there's not that many people that are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the globalist. Um, there's not a lot of people that are really realizing how serious it is because there's that normalcy bias that I talk so much about where I've read about people being a wreck and their arms cut off and they're bleeding to death and they just can't believe their arm has blood spraying out of it so they don't tie a tourniquet on it and they end up passing out and dying. And, you know, uh, I in my own life have been hurt pretty bad uh, quite a few times, which it was a terrible at the time, but actually helped me now because of, you, you, those experiences make you stronger that when your finger's chopped off or your leg's hacked open, you, you know, you get your focus, you get control of yourself. And, and, and I just see people that are just panicking when they are confronted with the truth or not helping somebody when they're choking and everybody's saying, call 911. This passiveness, this laziness is ensuring the total takeover. And that's all I'm saying. Those of you that are afraid to fight the evil because you're scared it'll come after you, it's going to come because you won't fight it. And so we're standing up here against the enemy knowing that there's no future for anybody if we don't do this. We can't give the world over to the worst minds, the most degenerate control freaks, the most psychopathic uh, you know, people out there. We cannot do it. We have a responsibility to just give it our all, and then that's when you're really alive. And so you never know how long you've got and you, personally in your life, and we don't know how long we've got till they do a big false flag. A nuke can say North Korea did it, or maybe have North Korea do it. Turned out there's been secret meetings with the Pentagon in North Korea in March. Our government put the Mao in. Our government, as I talked about earlier, uh, put the mullahs in, in Iran. Oh, you didn't know that? That's declassified. There's a good chance he was raised in Switzerland. There's a good chance he's a double or triple agent, Kim Jong-un, and uh, that, that, that he may play along with the nuke attack. I mean, we don't know. 
The point is, though, you can't trust the system, and they will stage crises to get you to go along with it. I mean, they're all over the news going, you know what, we're going to take your pension funds now for the earth and for the children. And, and, you know, so some rich banker in London or Israel or France can have an you know, extra $5 billion. So that's the bottom line. Uh, I've studied history. I've studied tyrannies. It's fascinating. I started it when I was young, you know, as a 12, 13, 14, 15 year old, just because it was very interesting reading. Uh, but, but, but now I, I understand we're repeating it. And the, the, the corruption that's manifesting is the nastiest form of ultra authoritarian evil that has ever existed. I mean, it's, it's right out of the mind of the devil stuff. I mean, if you don't believe in the devil, that's your issue. This might as well be the devil. The devil's real. Whether you believe it's a spiritual entity or not, humans together are manifesting a spirit that is right out of the worst stuff in the Bible. So that's all I had to say is you never know how long we've got. So if I was you, I would be spreading the word right now like a chicken with your head cut off. Uh, and when people, you know, laugh at you or act scared or, or turn away, it's because deep down they know the truth. And the laughing is a defense mechanism because these people have no respect for themselves. Don't feel bad that people are laughing at you. In the beginning, a patriot's a scarce man, hated and feared and scorned. But in time, when his cause succeeds, the timid join him because then it costs nothing to be a patriot. Mark Twain. They, they know what you're saying is true. You have the courage to speak up and be laughed at. You have the courage to tell the truth. You're not under their mind control. So I salute you, and I salute, again, all our supporters and the crew. I just wanted to ask all of you to pray for us and pray for liberty and pray for all the innocent children, because that's who the globalists really like to target. Most of the millions of the New World Order like to hurt children in one way or another. They love to hurt innocents. It, it freaks them out to see the goodness of children, to see God in the children. And, and so every culture wants to chop them up and torture them. I mean, that's what every people, that's radical. Every, every culture did that. See, you don't know history. Those that don't know history are doomed to repeat it. The people perish for lack of knowledge. I will not give my children the fires of Moloch with the vaccines. I will not give unto the state and follow their edicts. I know who they are. I know the UN and their biological diversity assessment in 96 in the notes talks about bringing back human sacrifice for Gaia. They want the energy of children because the creatures out of whatever dimension that's influencing them like that. And if you don't believe in that, that's your issue. Whatever, they're doing it. And they don't act like humans. Okay, I I'm going to tell you, I've studied these people. I've studied the globalists. I've studied their minions. Somebody else is looking out those eyes at you. And I don't like these parasites. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this transmission. Lord willing, we'll see you back on the radio tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, Infowars.com, and video streams at prisonplanet.tv, and back here tomorrow night, 7 o'clock Central, Infowars Nightly News.